Hello, in this video, we're going to show that the integral from zero to one of one over the square root of x with respect to x converges and we're going to compute its value. So note, this is an improper integral because we have an infinite discontinuity at x equals zero and that's one of the limits of integration. Let's carefully work through this solution. I'm gonna start by writing down our integral. So we have the integral from zero to one of one over the square root of x dx. And because we have an infinite discontinuity at zero, what we can do is we can replace that with a variable. I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the limit notation here. And the variable I'm going to use is little b. And little b is going to be approaching zero from the right. And I'm gonna explain this in a minute because it's really important to understand why it's from the right. And you write your integral sign, and then you put a b in place of the zero, and we have a one. And I'm also gonna go ahead and um, write the square root of x as x to the one half, as a preliminary step for, towards the integration. So basically, whenever you have an infinite discontinuity like this, you, you replace it uh, with a variable, and you let the variable approach the number. So you might be wondering, why are we approaching from the right? Well. If you draw a little picture, here's zero and here's one. So this is our interval where we're integrating over. And then here's B. Oh, so it must be approaching from the right, right? Because um, we're going from zero to one. So B is approaching from the right. All right, so now we can rewrite this in a way that will allow us to integrate. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this X to the one half upstairs. So this is going to be equal to the limit as b approaches zero from the right of the integral from b to one, and the exponent will become negative, so it will be x to the negative one half dx. Very nice, so now we're ready to integrate. We can simply use the power rule to integrate. This is equal to the limit as b approaches zero from the right, and the power rule basically says that you add one to the exponent and divide by the result. That always works as long as your exponent is in negative one. If your exponent is negative one, then you get the natural log of the absolute value of x. In this case, our exponent's negative one half, so it works. So negative one half plus one is simply one half. You can think of one as two halves if you like. So it will be x to the one half. And then we divide by one half, but when you divide by one half, you really multiply by two, so this is two. And I'll put a bracket here, and we're going from b to one. This is equal to the limit as b approaches zero from the right. And you first plug in the top number. So by the way, uh, x to the one half is really the square root of x, so I'm just gonna write it as that down here. So it'll be two square root of one minus, and then two square root of b, parentheses. And we can actually just plug in b equals zero at this point. When we do that, we drop the limit sign. So this is equal to two times one, minus two times the square root of zero, which is just two minus the square root of zero is zero, so you get two times zero, which is zero, so you get two. So because we get a number, we say the integral converges. So our integral converges. Because we get a number, we say our integral converges. Okay, so if we get a number, it converges. If we don't get a number, so if we get like D and E, infinity or negative infinity, then it diverges. So that part's done. And the value is actually just two, right? Two is what we get. So. Our integral, we say it's equal to two. So you could say that the integral from zero to one of one over the square root of x dx is equal to two. And because it's equal to a number, uh, we say it converges. So kind of a, a simple problem, but there's a lot of information here. And this piece here about it approaching from the right, um, again, if you think about it, you're between zero and one and you want to approach zero, so you're gonna be somewhere between zero and one. So here's your b, oh okay, so it's bigger than zero, so you're approaching from the right. So if you were approaching one, you'd be approaching from the left.
Hopefully this video has helped you learn some mathematics. Until next time, good luck and take care.